everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick video and talk a little bit about Keith Herring. He is an artist that you're gonna look at. I have a video for you to watch about him, but I just wanted to explain the video a little bit. It's from an old newscast from the 1980s, so it may seem a little bit boring, but it's neat because it, it's actual footage of Keith Herring. And he died very young in his 30s, so to have footage of him is kind of neat. Um, so some of his work, when you see it and you're like, oh man, he used to draw on the walls illegally. You know, that's not something you want to highlight, but yes, he did he did draw on areas he wasn't supposed to draw on. Originally, he just thought, big deal. I have a piece of chalk. I'm gonna go into the subway in New York, do some of my drawings. It's just a blank space anyway that a poster is gonna hang on. But still, that's not right. You can't just go draw on a public place wherever you want. But because he did that, he made graffiti art become very famous. So he actually made graffiti art go into museums and galleries and become more accepted. So he was considered a pop artist and also meaning popular culture images everybody recognizes, but he was also considered a graffiti artist. This is one of his posters. This is just one of his works of art that show kind of figures of, you know, images of people but put into a really kind of colorful abstract work of art. This one is his famous people that he did. He would sometimes just draw quick images of people. Um, he would get funny, like this one has a robot holding a monkey, so sometimes they were just fun. And, and when you see the video of him working in the subway, you'll see he could draw them super fast. He could go and have one of his graffiti art pieces done in just a minute. That's another one that's pretty famous. And this is kind of a neat one. It goes from person to, to tail like a mermaid to dolphin, back to legs of person. So sometimes he had them showed movement in his art. And these were a lot of times huge, done on huge pieces. So what I want you to do is want you to watch the video and then I also want you to just Try one of Keith Haring's figures. You can um, choose from any shapes and styles that you want the arms and legs to be going on. So I drew a round head and then I drew an arm and he has just a simple hand shape and then he has another simple hand shape and he has the body and another leg shape and I'll include an image so you can see some different images of Keith Haring's people to copy from that way you can just call up that that image that grouping and copy one of them if you want but you can make up your own too once you get it drawn out just sketch it you know you'll make mistakes just change it it's okay and when you're all done when you're finally done I would outline it in black crayon or black sharpie or black marker depending on what you have and then of course you can do more than one but all you are required to do is one and then color that nice and neat and sometimes he just was his work was very simple um, so you can color it just solid if you want, and that would just be solid. And this is going to be kind of just a quick preliminary something to practice because we're gonna do something in person later in, in kind of a neat unit. And so to have a little bit of practice with this ahead of time will be good. So have fun and enjoy it and learn a little bit about the really interesting artist named Keith Herring.